country. Bienvenidos a Santiago. Hey friends, before we start this video, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainable and affordable jewelry line that I am literally obsessed with. I wear their pieces every single day and each day I just look forward to putting them on. I picked up these Eden studs that I am obsessed with. They're beautiful little checkered print and they like glisten in the light. Oh, they're just like a nice staple piece. And then I also picked up a zodiac necklace, which I am a Taurus, and I've been loving stacking this with the little butterfly necklace and a plain chain. Guys, if you'd like to give them a try, you can use my code VIOLA10 for 10% off. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you again, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Olivia. I've been a little MIA from YouTube the past month or so. I mean, really the past two months. Life has been kind of crazy and as I've mentioned in a previous vlog, my camera was acting up and yeah, I just kind of figured that that time might just be better for me to just like enjoy being here. Yeah, I just felt like it was very much needed. In December, I was sick, both me and Chico, my boyfriend. We were really sick over Christmas, um, and then like I sprained my ankle. It's just been kind of all over the place, but I'm in a new location, as you guys can see. If you don't know, my boyfriend and I have been traveling full-time as of this past July. We sold all of our things in New York and started our little digital nomad journey uh, in Guatemala. <laughs> and we're actually going to a new country uh, on Monday. It is Tuesday, January 11th. On the 17th, we are leaving to a new country for many reasons, but also this country <sighs> has been on our bucket list forever. Like I have not stopped talking about it and I'm just really excited to go. I can't believe it's happening. I will show you guys the whole process of getting there. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much and express my gratitude to every single one of you guys who have subscribed here. Um, we're almost to 1000 subscribers and that's pretty unreal because when I started this YouTube channel, I originally just started it for fun because I just really enjoy exploring and traveling and my love for health and wellness and you know just apartments and everything um, I just felt that uh, I could share that somewhere in a different form other than Instagram where I am on there more um, you guys can follow me there at via live but I definitely want to make YouTube more of a priority because I really do love creating uh, YouTube videos and sharing on here and I just feel like I can just show a different side of me that I can't really show on Instagram. Also just been like very uncomfortable with speaking on camera lately and I don't know why that is. I just think when you stop for so long, it just feels really weird when you get back into it again. So I'm just trying to make more of an effort to show my face on here and share more of my honest thoughts. And I've just really been processing the past six months of my life and it's just been whirlwind, I guess, and completely switching my life. I feel like it hasn't been until now that I have accepted the fact that this is now life, like not really knowing where we are going to go or what's next um, and just being okay with the unknown um, not really having a home to go back to with things and whatever but I've just fallen in love with Latin America and every day I just feel like I am learning something completely new if you guys don't know I am Puerto Rican but I have never learned Spanish and my entire life I have wanted to learn Spanish my dad that's his first language but since I didn't grow up with him, really. Um, he, I never was taught Spanish. It's always been something that I have struggled with, um, finding like an identity, being mixed, biracial, and having like a dad who is fully 
Puerto Rican born, Puerto Rican and speaks Spanish and my grandma speaks Spanish and I can't understand her um, and it always felt like I was missing out on like understanding my culture and understanding that side of my family because there was such a barrier in language it just always felt different and being in a Spanish speaking place where I can learn more I am every day learning a new language and the language that I have been needing and searching to learn more of because I want to connect deeper to my roots and um, it's just really helped me a lot being here in Guatemala. I'm really accepting the fact life, my life and me living in different parts of the world is just part of my journey and something I'm really excited for so I am so excited to go to this new country. Like Guatemala has helped heal me in so many ways and shown me so many things about myself. Just like put a lot of things in my face about me and who I am, what I want to do in this lifetime and also like the kind of person I want to be like dealing with things that I have never dealt with before and things popping up that you know I didn't notice where I don't like saying the word trauma but maybe like where a part of me that I just have been clothes um, I haven't addressed I guess so boyfriend's brother Vincent is here right now and he has been here for two weeks so we were in Antigua for a few days and then we came back to the lake right now we're staying in Sununa and then we are gonna stay in Panahachal where we leave off to the next country we've gotten so comfortable with Guatemala and I love Guatemala and I definitely see myself here in the future again now, like you know, we've said we wanted to experience other countries and other cultures, so it felt like we kind of settled here for the past six months and called this place home, but now it's time to move on and uh, experience something else and the unknown and something completely new and um, different. As much as I love it here and I could see myself here in the future, I love the lake here, I love Antigua, I love Guatemala, and um, I could see myself here again, but for right now. I'm excited to move on to this country that has been a dream of mine for so long. I'm not really sure where the day is going to go, but I do know that I need to drink some water. I want to make a matcha because Vincent brought back a ton of things for me from the states that I had delivered, like including these shop art tanks. And I kind of want to do a vlog. Let me know what you guys think of like Obviously, I'm going to do a packing one, and that has been a... I know people have asked me, and it's been a little bit difficult because I'm, I kind of pack a little, like, more than, like, a regular backpacker because I make content, and I'm trying to still work that out, and I'm not a pro at all. Like, for short trips and, like, when I had an apartment and had a place for things, I think I was a little bit better, but since, like, this is our life, I've been a little not great as far as packing, but I definitely want to share, like, things that have made a difference in my travels. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. The wind here has been no joke, like seriously. It's been the windiest I've seen it this entire time. And I don't know if it is because we're like so close to the lake or what, but like, oh, it is so, so windy. We have some peak matcha. take with us everywhere is our beads pill thing about being in a place like Guatemala or I mean anywhere you have to thoroughly wash all your fruits and vegetables and it takes time um, the last place we were staying at they had a built-in water filter so it made it like really easy to wash everything wash rice whatever but most places are gonna have like this eco filter I mean it just really makes me appreciate like how fortunate are in the states you know we don't really have to think twice about that or yeah I usually just fill up a whole pot of 
water and put the vegetables in there and then I use this grapefruit seed extract and this helps with uh, parasites so I fill up a whole thing I'll put all my vegetables in a pot of water and then let it soak for like 10 15 minutes or so so I put all the vegetables in this bucket and then now I'm just gonna This little egg holder I got off Amazon and it has been a lifesaver here because they don't sell eggs in cartons like the states and actually to get six dozen eggs, these are local and organic, they are 15Q which is like mm, almost two dollars for six eggs. So literally like not bad <laughs> at all. I would say yeah like a dollar fifty for six eggs which usually in the states for like local pasture raised organic eggs it would be i don't know four or five dollars even for six so this thing has been a lifesaver because they don't sell eggs in cartons and i travel with the eggs and i don't want to break them and i just really like this our friend elfie had one and i was like i have to get one so this thing is amazing i will link Travel gang. Travel gang, we out here. We, we out here. You get me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Look at the color though. Mm. That's like green. Gorgeous. You'll probably find some good stuff here. Hokote.
She just had babies. <sighs> I just want to give you a good home. I just I love you. packed up all of our well we packed up all of our things and everything and then I'm just like laying here in this bed because I'm fairly exhausted but we are headed now to Panahachel where we are staying in a spot for the next couple days before we head to our next destination I really love this place and nothing gets over this view like look at that 
just got to this place in Pana, and it's a one bed, well, two beds, and this is the main bedroom. Beautiful little fireplace. I think another unit. Sorry. <laughs> this is the bathroom. And then this is the living room. And it has a beautiful kitchen. Nice fireplace. I love the garden windows everywhere. And this is the second bed. Little nook. It's so pretty. And then over here. They have a beautiful cutting board, pots and pans and everything you need. This baby, hell yeah. Prefer to be out, but you're just literally exhausted. We have been nonstop for the past few weeks and it's not ending. <laughs> and I was even thinking about it, like I'm so ready to be settled into the next place because we'll be there for a month. But even that, it's like, we're gonna be exploring a whole new city. It's like something I feel like not as many people share. It's like how tiring it actually is. In like the past few months, we've been really relaxed and haven't done much. Definitely reset when I'm alone and in peace and quiet. Um, I'm not as much of a person who plays music when it's silent. I really enjoy the silence especially here it's just nature and roosters and birds and the leaves blowing and i just much rather prefer that than music or sometimes i'll watch tv i was actually thinking about watching the new uh this is oscar this is not bad though just listen talk about this later, I'm tired. We are off. All packed. It's 5.45 and we're about to meet the driver. Got our stuff. How are you feeling? <laughs> tired? So I wanted to share what the journey was like getting from Guatemala to Mexico. So we woke up at 4 a.m. to catch a 5 a.m. shuttle from Panajachel all the way to San Cristobal de las Casas. And um, it was about a 12 hour ride. They tell you it's about nine hours. No, it's 12 hours. It's really long. Um, but it's not that bad. I would recommend staying in Panajachel because you can't really get from anywhere else to um, the lake that early in the morning. So we decided to stay in Pana uh, a couple nights before and then get picked up there and it just made everything so much easier. And then, yeah, the drive from uh, Pana to the Mexican border. I would say it's about like four or five hours. They do stop pretty frequently, which I know many people ask. So you can grab food or water or use the bathroom. And then once you get to the border, you're gonna have to get out of the shuttle that you're in in Guatemala and then transfer to another shuttle from someone who's gonna drive you the rest of the way in Mexico. Passports are just checked, I guess, from Guatemala and then they're gonna drive you another like 10 or 15 minutes to the Mexican border and that's where you're gonna fill out the paperwork. You're gonna get your card or FMM card and uh, they're gonna give you the amount of days you're able to stay and uh, you can stop for some food and this kind of takes a while because of how many people are on the bus with you. Then you transfer to a big bus and you will now take about three or four hours to get to San Cristobal. Yeah, it's a long day, um, it's worth it. Especially if you're at the lake, it's much more affordable and 
I guess it would just take up the same amount of time if you're going to drive all the way back to Guatemala City plane to somewhere in Mexico. So it just wasn't that bad and I actually enjoyed it and it was just a really exciting moment to enter into Mexico from Guatemala. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped a little bit because I couldn't find any other like info on getting from Guatemala to Mexico, just Mexico to Guatemala. So um, yeah, if anyone has any questions, let me know. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and yeah, stay tuned for the next video in Mexico. Bye!